The surf club at Kekula O Samuel M. Kamakau was honored by the Honolulu City Council for perpetuating a Hawaiian sport in Olelo, Hawaii. Today we are honored to have these inspiring athletes of the Kamakau surf team and their coaches here in the council chambers. This is the surf team's inaugural year, joining 10 other high school surf clubs on Oahu that compete under the Hawaii Surfing Association. Kamakau Surf Team became the first and only surf club at a Hawaiian language immersion school, where instruction is in Olelo, Hawaii. On behalf of the people of the city and county of Honolulu, the Honolulu City Council hereby honors and recognizes the Kamakau Surf Team during Mahina Olelo, Hawaii, Hawaiian Language Month for its perpetuation of a Hawaiian sport in Olelo, Hawaii. The team is comprised of seven talented and dedicated surfers. Kaiva Foster, Olali Wong, Kanana Kelling, Kalekoa Cuban, Piilani Hong, Ma'aloa Punua, and Kauha'anui Domingo. Their head coach, Kaipoi Kelling, as well as their community makua coaches, Steve Hong and Pikuna Hong. Coach Kaipoi shares with his students the importance of honoring the spaces where they surf and surf etiquette. Where we started to after 10 weeks, where, the, where they are now, on the physical plane, on the spiritual plane, they're two different people. Right? And so, to me, surfing was all about the spirit and what it does to your spirit. Learning about the names of all these places we surf and their traditional names is something that I never once knew and being able to feeling like we've hit another level of connecting to these places that we've had an understanding like oh this is called um, Ma'ili but not actually knowing the backstory behind it about the Li'i who once lived there and ruled it the story and the culture behind it working together as a team and learning to appreciate a place not only by yourself but you come with a group that we all respect it together and we all are learning the steps it needs to take in order to honor a place. Respect was the first thing. Respecting the ocean and the people. And then after that, you go into learning about safety and then you finally get to get out into the ocean and then comes all the technical stuff about contests. But I think that's kind of the breakdown of what I was raised with, but also what we've gone over in this papa as well is the most significant is um, getting Hawaiians back into our um, our spaces, into our perpetuating our cultural practices like he and Alu and Hoiva'a. But also um, I think the difference, what we're trying to push and start to revitalize is um, bringing the language back into those spaces. State title? Cool, whatever, but beautiful human being? Ah, it's even better. You know? That's what you want, right? To give our kids, to give them a chance in their sport, because this is their sport, right? And then to be ambassadors, uh, to follow in the ways of our Ali'i and Kanamoku and, and all of those who came before. But now to have, you know, when the language is now being able to be returned to them, which was once taken away from them, right? And then to use it in a space where Hawaiians, you go find them, congregate in the ocean. Because Hawaiians are ocean people, right? Always have been, always will be. If we get a title, hey, my guy. If we don't, that's okay. If we have good, productive watermen, water women that are uplifting the Lahui, uplifting the the nature of this sport of kings and the sport of the commoners, you know, that's the end goal, right?